Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Welcome back to Finish It Friday. I'm glad you came by to see what I've gotten done this week and also uh, some of the photos of the projects that you guys have gotten done or are working on. And uh, it's always fun to do together, so glad you're here. And as uh, I mentioned um, last week or on Monday, I don't remember, <laughs> uh, some of the things I was wanting to get done was uh, a Harriet's Journey block, a shimmer block, and the milk can quilt uh, to get started quilting on that. And I did get those done, so I'll go ahead and show you those. This is the Harriet's Journey block. I don't remember the name of it. If I sat here and thought for a minute, I probably could come up with it. Seemed like it had to do with the name of a state, but it doesn't matter. Got that little block done. Those are always fun. And then here's my newest um, shimmer block that I did. And that green in there has mushrooms on it. This one gave me a little run for my money because uh, I hadn't done one for a week or so and I was a little rusty, but I got it to turn out okay. And then uh, here's the milk can quilt and I basted it and I have started to do some outline quilting on it like around the milk cans because I'm going to do some free motion inside of those milk cans. So I have all of my sashing. Uh, done as far as stitch in the ditch and that kind of makes a nice outline for the milk cans so um, I has I still have some outlining of the of the milk cans to do and then after that I can start doing some little bit funner free motion stuff on here and I'm just gonna do some sort of zigzaggy swirl on there so um, you just have to wait and see that I think uh, I think my goal for this weekend is going to be to put a huge dent in the quilting of this quilt. But I'm glad I've, you know, I got it basted. I'm, I'm starting. It's, it's underway. So, hexes. I have started to put my hexes together. I figure I have 900 and something in here. I don't know how many. Closer to a thousand, really. Um, kind of lost count, but I think that's what I have. So I'm just going to stop there for now. If I need more later, I can always make more, right? And then uh, I've started to sew them together. And I'm doing some rows of 10. And then I'll put those rows together. And maybe I'll have some big blocks of 10 by 10. Um, I don't know how the, how big this is going to turn out doing that that way. It might be just huge. I don't know. I kind of felt like how in the world could this make a whole bed quilt. But now I'm starting to see how it maybe could. So <laughs> anyway, that's uh, going on right now. I've got 30 done. So that's my new little sit and sew project. I had to kind of get used to hand sewing again. I don't do a lot of hand sewing. I used to. I um, had to find me some cheaters um, because my bifocal glasses that I use for driving and and whatnot just wasn't cutting it for that close up of work. So um, I hope you had a chance to see my little short on how to to put those together. Um, maybe that would help you at some point. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's still a fun little project. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. And then, uh, on the hometown charms, we have a block. Here it is. This is the block for, um, what is it? Libraries. Now, my dark color up here is a little bit too dark. <laughs> you can see that I've got some gray 
kind of like wood grain looking down through the diagonal center there and some of these medium shades are a little bit too dark they're supposed to be a medium like these in the middle but it was a very that in the woods fabric is very well it's varied is what i'm trying to say it's there's a lot of dark light and medium in it so maybe not the best choice but it did actually make a pretty cool looking block and I decided to do this uh, medium shade here because I had that here in this boat in the sailboat but I didn't have it anywhere else on the quilt so this is supposed to go down here uh, yeah down here and then I have two tree blocks that go uh, on either side like this this whole row up here goes down here but they'll all be different so I kind of felt like I needed to grab some of this and and pull it over here so that you know it's gonna, all gonna go together anyway that was a lot of words to say very little and then we had our block for vintage mystery on Wednesday and that is port and starboard if you haven't uh, made that one or you want to make a, a block like this or a bunch of blocks just like this you can go to that video that came out Wednesday and there's a PDF in the description box you can print it off and use that as a pattern for this block and what else do I have here I think that's pretty much everything that I got into this week, this past week. Um, this weekend I'm going to do this work on this. That's really all I have planned because, you know, like I said before, once I get my walking foot on there and my thread on there or my binding foot, whatever, I, I want to get the quilting done and off my machine. So... How many ever days it takes to do this? That's that's what I'm doing next on the sh on the machine, but I can still work on my hexes uh, by hand in the evenings or whenever I get bored with 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 this. So things are moving right along, but still lots and lots to do and lots and lots to plan for. And right now I'm going to go into your all's finishes. I have a few. The first one I have is from Pamela. She has a uh, quilt here that um, is called Pretty Please from Donna Robertson. That's the three yard quilt lady. And she's got a very cozy little quilt there. And if you can see her um, block there that's uh, more busy those look like uh, locations like travel locations it does look very cozy very pretty and bright and then she had another one that she's oh she sent me her finished block of the vintage mystery so along but she's just starting it so this is the I think the shoe fly block and she's doing it up in um, uh, navy blue and then a print her print is a, a snowbird type of um, design and your block turned out perfect great job Pamela and then Dolores uh, sent me blocks eight and nine of the vintage and there's those there I don't think she sent me the number 10 yet okay and then uh, this is a, a finished boys quilt it's motorcycles and then there's some fabric in there that looks like tire tread I thought that was kind of cool and she's done a meander on there and then very good job Dolores 
and then let's see Giselle um, a few weeks back she sent us a picture of a baby quilt that she did and here she has taken the leftovers and made a pillow sham and this fits a standard pillow uh, and you guys might remember that little quilt that she did and that's just perfect that would be a a nice pillow to put like in the baby nursery um, on the rocker or the glider that the the moms all have now It'd be pretty to make the whole whole room coordinate and then Dee Dee uh, has finished her windmill garden uh, that was a sew along that we all did together that uh, I hosted here a few months ago and she has her so close to being done she's got all of her sashing on and all of her cornerstones and border and she's going to use that that sashing material is a B fabric and it kind of has a lattice look to it and I thought that was really appropriate to go with those um, windmills so uh, she's going to use that for the binding as well so that's going to look really cool when it's completely done but uh, congratulations on getting your quilt top done that's <laughs> that's a nice feeling isn't it and i love your soft uh, colors there that you put together with the cream it looks very very nice i love it great job so as always thank you for uh, paying attention to the uh, guidelines for sending in pictures and i'll use as many of your pictures as i can that you send in and i love to see all of your work as does all of our or as do all of our viewers because i get comments all the time about how, how much people enjoy uh, seeing everyone's finished uh, quilt projects so keep sending those in and we'll try to show them as best we can and uh, that's it for today and we will uh, meet back here on Monday for Monday quilt chat lots of exciting things to talk about and uh, I hope you guys have a nice weekend and get something out to sew work on something a little bit over the weekend and uh, before long you'll have your a finished project all right thanks for hanging out with me today on finish it friday and we'll see you again soon on monday